Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to use ImageJ to measure area, length, and a whole bunch of other things at, for um, any of your IAs. So the first thing you kind of have to do is you have to have a physical setup like this. So you have the camera that's a set distance away from the table, and you don't really want to move that for reasons I'll make clear later. And then down here you have your sample. So in this case, I took some leaves. I actually taped them to the table only because um, they weren't perfectly flat, so I wanted to make sure I measured the area accurately. And then crucially, you have a ruler here, okay? Um, and I'll show you why that's important later. So as long as you have this set up and you don't adjust the stand, the, the distance the camera is away, you can use this setup to collect all your data, okay? Um, now, when you take a picture on the camera, you'll get something that looks like this, okay? So you got the ruler here, you got your measurements here. Now, what happens with this is um, Apple saves as this funny file. So what you need to do is you need to export that file as a JPEG, okay? So you would export it as a JPEG, do the best quality, hit save, and it pops up right here. So that's the one you want to use. Make sure it's a JPEG for image J. If you're using something else, especially the ones, the photos that come straight from the Apple, Apple phone, or it generally doesn't work. Okay, so once you've collected your, your pictures, you can start analyzing your data. So with image J, first thing you want to do is we want to open that image we took. So I'm going to go to the desktop, open up this one, Make sure it says image J up here. It's easy to get confused. And here we are. So this is the picture I took. Now, you know, I'm going to measure something on these, but before I can do any of that measurement, I need to set a scale. So I zoomed in on this picture a bit. I'm going to zoom in a bit more. And what I do know is I know that the distance here to here is one centimeter, or I'm going to say 10 millimeters. Okay. So what I can do is I can use this one, which is a line, and I can measure. I can, I'm can i going to draw a line from that point to that point. So I know that that, I'm going to straighten that out a little bit, um, is, whoops, I know that that point is 10 millimeters or one centimeter, okay? So I'm, I think I will use centimeters. So what I want to do then is I go to Analyze, and I want to set scale. So as long as I've drawn that line, it says right here that that line is 207.0577 pixels, okay? Um, and I know that distance to be one centimeter, okay? Um, so I, I set that, I set that to centimeters and then global here, I'm gonna click because as long as you keep this set up, exactly like it is, um, you will, any picture you take using this, you can use this measurement. If you end up changing this or changing the, the camera or anything like that, then for every picture, you're going to have to do this again. 